Hello, ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch, and perhaps for some reason you want to move from the Unity game engine to Unreal, and maybe you have thousands of dollars worth of assets on the asset store you don't want to leave behind, or you want to bring your game assets over and not start from scratch. Well, do I have the perfect product at the perfect time for you? I we're looking at something called the YouTube plugin, and uh, yeah, let's just start with the demo. So this here, uh, this is Polygon, uh, like one of the Sinti scenes for uh, Low Polygon City. I just love their stuff. It looks very good, and it plays very well with the example. Uh, so you see here, there we got the scene. We're going to drive around it, fly around it, I mean. Let's go take a look. This is what it looks like in Unity. So now let's say we want to go ahead and export this out. What can we do here? Well, I've actually already done it, so you don't have to wait through the uh, entire load process, because honestly, that can, take, that can take a little bit of time, maybe about 10 minutes total for this particular scene. But what I've done is I've installed the Utu plugin in down here. We'll get to details about Utu in just a second. So basically, just drop the folder in from the install directory. So you're going to see here, uh, once you've unzipped the package, you're going to see here you get the uh, Unity plugin and the Unreal Engine plugins here. So just basically drag the Unity plugin in and then you will get this new window up here called plugins YouTube plugin and then you can basically pick which scenes you wish to export so what I do is basically pick this guy and give it a name and then export it this part of the process is actually pretty quick it's the import from the Unreal Engine side that's a little bit slow so again here is what we have in Unity right and now here is what we have in Unreal Engine and damn <laughs> like it's uh, there's one glaring difference you probably noticed, um, but otherwise, everything came across absolutely perfect. Uh, so the one thing you're missing is the uh, built-in skybox. So uh, you would have to add a skybox here. So realistically, that is the only difference between these two scenes. And it just brings it all across for you. So if you've got a ton of assets in Unity and you're afraid to like leave them behind if you want to move to Unreal Engine, the YouTube plugin is definitely worth your consideration. Yeah, this is it's a commercial plugin and there are definitely some limitations. I don't want to tell you that this is like snake oil. This will not just import your Unity your Unreal Engine project. Um, or Unity project over to Unreal Engine flawlessly, uh, your code is not coming across. Not all of your assets are coming over. It's mostly for uh, static meshes, prefabs, and so on. But on the topic of prefabs, let's go check that out. It actually brings everything in as prefabs. So you see here all the various different hierarchy structure that we had over in uh, Unity. So you see over here, you've got um, this, you know, scenes, prefabs, environments, and so on. Over here, we just switch on back, and then we go here, environments, and then you've got all the various different pieces, and you literally drag and drop them in. I have no idea what that actually is. <laughs> yeah, I got no idea what we just brought in. All right, maybe a cloud of some kind. Let's bring in something different. So here, boom, it's that simple. So they're brought in as prefabs ready to go in your new environment. So if you have a bunch of uh, assets, specifically like 3D model type stuff that you want to bring over from Unity to Unreal Engine, this is your new best friend. At the same time, if you want to bring your game out, it brings out entire scenes at a time. You're going to have to do some cleanup after the fact, of course. But as you can see, this and this, other than slight lighting differences and the speed of my mouse cursor, they're picture perfect. Uh, so I am quite impressed by how this actually works out. So back to the plugin itself. Uh, this guy is available on uh, Gumroad if you want to go ahead and check it out. It's 25 bucks, and in my opinion, that's a steal if you're in this setting, especially if you spent a bunch of money on the Unreal Engine Marketplace already. Uh, so this enables you to get your stuff out relatively simply. Another nice thing about the developer is he's been very responsive since I've been talking to him because he's actually already ported it to Mac, so it should work just fine on Mac going forward. And he's got the 5.3 release coming as well. Uh, in terms of the features, you can export uh, assets used in a game engine, recreate hierarchies, uh, multiple interfaces, and so on and so forth. Um, again, he tells you straight up front, so he's not going to sell this as something that it isn't. This isn't a magic conversion tool, so the plugin is not perfect and probably never will be due to the difference between the engines. You'll probably have some adjustments to do manually for the scene to be perfect, but the amount of work will be considerably reduced. Plugin has some limitations. Look at the pictures and read below for a complete list. Um, so how does it work? You select the scenes you want to export and the plugin will convert it and include all of their dependencies. Only a small amount of input is required by the user. User interface are simply and user friendly. I'll show you the user interface in just a second. Uh, now, 
Why would you use this? You've changed your mind and want to use Unity, uh, Unreal instead of Unity. I don't know why anyone would want to do that, but if you're in that camp, well, this plugin is for you. You want to sell your asset pack on both engines or you want to convert some older projects or assets you bought. So pretty much most people at this point in time. Uh, what assets are supported? Scenes, static and skeletal meshes, materials, textures, prefabs, point spot and directional lights, and cameras. What are not? Train foliage, particle systems, 2D objects, user interfaces, audio scripts, uh, and sadly animations. But hopefully animations are added. I think it's something he is trying to work on. I'm not giving you any promises there. Uh, but if you want to go ahead and check this one out, again, it is up on Gumroad. Uh, it's $25. By the way, if you use my link down below, I get a small commission and I very much appreciate that. Now let's head on back over to the Unreal Engine side of things and I will show you the user in play here. So uh, what we started off, we went in um, Unity and what you do, again, is you come up here and you do an export. You pick the scenes you want and you export them and you give them a name. Then over here on the Unity side of things, what you do is you click this little icon right here. What this does is opens up the importer. You will see a list of all of your um, available exported scenes. So if you do multiple, they all kind of go to this intermediate uh, folder. Uh, you can actually go to it here. Um, and you can also delete things here. Now, interestingly enough, you can't delete from the Unity side. So if you create something and you're done with it, you're going to want to either go to the file system and delete it or delete it from the Unreal Engine side. So it creates this intermediate uh, area, which is then importable from the uh, Unreal Engine side. Now, the Unreal Engine side is also where the settings are. So you can see here, you have a number of controls over how the inputs happen. So you can combine meshes, uh, auto-generate collisions, generate light map UVs, uh, remove degenerates, those damn degenerates, uh, compute weighted normals. Uh, so uh, use T0 as a reference pose. Preserve smoothing groups, import meshes and bone hierarchies, import morph targets, uh, you have control over how the textures work. You can have mip map settings there. You can change the filtering of them. You can change how materials will work, the intensity of specular, emissive, metallic, and so on. And this is actually really important as I find a lot of times between engines, uh, they sometimes, especially for emissive, have massively different settings. So you can actually tweak the way the materials will come across here. And you also have the same settings for the light. So you can change how those work as they're brought across. And as you're importing it, you will get a log of all of the things that happened here, you are going to get some errors. You are going to get some warnings. Uh, so again, it's not a flawless process. There are certainly limitations to this plugin. So again, if you buy it and you find, okay, it didn't work perfectly for my project, just don't be surprised. It, it can... Um, you know, it can struggle with certain scenes. It's it's being asked to do a lot here, but it's an interesting approach for sure. Uh, it is a plugin um, on both engines. So basically, again, there is the Unity plugin you have to install and then the Unreal Engine plugin they have to install and they kind of talk to each other. And the key thing here, all the major settings are on the Unreal Engine side. And this process can actually take a bit of time. So if you want to go ahead and import something, basically just click it here and you click import and then it does its thing. But this process, like I said, it, it can be... I think for this particular map, it took about um, 10 minutes the first time. So you can see it just kind of kicks through it and runs through the process. But I, I am just amazed by this thing. And again, like I said to start the video, uh, this thing, this uh, Utu plugin project converter for Unity to Unreal Engine, it's like the perfect project at the perfect time. And I have a strange feeling that his sales counts are definitely going to go up after this because I think there's just a lot of people out here that are looking for this. So if you have a big investment in the Unity asset store, I have good news for you. Again, it's not going to bring over the scripts or the logic or any of that, but getting your assets out, uh, all of the things listed here, these things, your scenes, your meshes, your materials, your textures, your prefabs, all set up with the same hierarchy you had in the other engine. That alone is just a massive time saver. So let me know what you think of it, of the Utu plugin. Of uh, Are you porting from uh, Unity to Unreal Engine? Also, just out of raw curiosity, if he made this for Unity to Godot, would you pay 25 bucks for that? Just uh, I have a feeling the author might be listening and he might be willing to do that. And I think this is a really cool tool. And again, not perfect. It doesn't bring everything across. You're still going to have to create all your blueprints or C++ or whatever when you get on the other end. But my goodness, it's going to be a huge time saver for a lot of you. Let me know what you think. Comments down below and I will talk to you all later. Goodbye.